So this question is a diagram question. I say that because of the table provided. Um, it's also part two of a group of questions. Um, so if you already answered number 19, which I'm assuming you have, then you already know that this table shows you data from a student sibling survey, in which case Lincoln School or 300 students from Lincoln School and 300 students from Washington School were surveyed. And the data we have here in each one of these rows represents the number of students at each school that had the indicated number of siblings. We also have data here at the bottom stating that the number of students, the total population of students at each school is different. So I'm gonna just write that down. So Lincoln has 2,400 students and Washington, Washington, has 3,300 students. So question 20 says, based on the survey data, which of the following most accurately compares the expected number, I'm sorry, the expected total number of students with siblings at the two schools, right? So the expected total number of students with four siblings. Well, at Lincoln, from the Lincoln survey, we found that 10 out of the 300 had four siblings and 10 out of 300 as a percentage, if you wanna use percentages, which you actually don't have to in this case, but I'll just go on with it. The percentage here is 3.3%. And we found the exact same data for Washington, right? That 10 out of the 300 students there, which is also 3.3%, also have four <clears throat> siblings. So the differential comes in where, you know, if this data is accurate, right, if we can trust it, that would mean that we would expect, our expectations would be that 3.3% of the entire student population at Lincoln had four siblings. So I would just say, well, 2,400 times, don't forget, we always term percentages into decimals, so zero point zero three three that that should give me the total number of students at Lincoln and I'm getting that that's roughly 79 I have 79.2 let's call it 79 and then the same thing that for at Washington um, my 3,300 times 0 0.033 for 3.3 percent is equal to, let's say, 109. I'm getting 108.9, but I'll round it to 109 students. So that's the expectation based upon the trustworthiness of the, um, of the survey, okay? So now we go to the answer choices. So choice A says the total number of students with four siblings is expected to be equal at the two schools. Well, our math shows us that that's not the case. That's a trap answer because we see tens for both schools here. So you might think, oh, well, yeah, we expect them to be the same. But the reason why they're not going to be the same is because of the total number of students at each school being different. Right. So we do expect that there are more students at Washington School that have four siblings than there are at Lincoln School that have four siblings, just because Washington School is a bigger school than Lincoln School is. Um, and that's how surveys work. Right. If you survey 1000 people. Um, from two towns, but one town has, you know, 100,000 people and the other town only has 10,000 people, whatever those percentage results you get from that survey, they're going to scale with the size of the actual town. So A is not right for that reason. So choice B, the total number of students with four siblings at Lincoln is expected to be 30 more than at Washington. Well, actually, Lincoln is 30 less than at Washington, right? So um, that's not true. And then C looks like it's just the reverse of that answer, where it's 30 more at Washington than at Lincoln, which is true based upon our math. And I just like to continue to read to make sure I'm fully satisfied with my answer. So choice D says the total number of students with four siblings at Washington is expected to be 900 more, right? So I don't like that. And I think, again, that's another trap answer, right? Because if you look at, if you do the math between 2,400 and 3,300, right, that's a jump in 900 students. And therefore, you know, you could do some math, get 900 and think, oh, that's a good answer. But actually it has nothing to do with um, 
the number of students who have four siblings. It just has to do with how much bigger of a school is Washington versus Lincoln. So that's why choice D is out, and that's why choice C is the best answer for this question.